Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Saran. On today's video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison of the Samsung Galaxy A32 versus the Samsung Galaxy A02s. Stay locked in with me. So, yo, welcome back to another video. If you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through, kicking it with me to the end of the video. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because we're gonna go into the battery performance, the features, the cameras, the displays, the build quality, and the sound quality and stuff like that. So make sure you don't miss anything. So make sure you watch to the end of the video. But I just wanna remind you, um, I wanna remind you real quick, hit the like button so you could we could beat the YouTube algorithm get this video out to more people so it could be more helpful to a lot more people but let's just jump into the overall comparison but if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new but if you're already a part of the crew so, so we have both of these devices right here and you can see that they have excellent um look to them and design but they're def definitely really different so i kind of want to go over the differences between them and as far as the weight, it's 80, 184 grams of weight on the A32, so a little bit lighter than the, a, um, the A02S is actually 196, so it's a little bit lighter on the A32. But you can see we have a glossy back on here with um, plastic back, and we have a textured back on the A02S with a nice, you know, um, hexagonal pattern on the back. They both say Samsung on the bottom and then in small print it does give you the model numbers of each on here so we do have the unlock models for both and when it comes to the camera configurations around back you're going to notice we have a different type of design the samsung galaxy a32 has like a modern design to it it's got you know the um 64 megapixel on the top 8 megapixel wide angle and 5 megapixel macro camera and then on the front, it's got a 20 megapixel on the front of here. So on the Samsung Galaxy A02s, there's actually going to be, um, as far as the camera setup, it's a 13 megapixel main, 2 megapixel for portrait, and 2 megapixel for macro. And then we get a 5 megapixel around the front. Now, both of these devices are relatively new. They're just about a year old. In November, we got this guy, 2000. 21 and then in February we got this guy in 2020 um, You know, I'm saying just a little bit apart over a year ago So let's just start off with the build quality like I said you get the texture and the glossy right here So compared to the button placement, it's going to be in the same spot exact same spot We do get plastic sides power button and volume rocker um, right above it at the top, we, they both do have microphones, so they do offer that dual microphone for good sound quality when you're listening to them. As far as the bottom, headphone jacks are on both with the microphone type C and speaker below. They both rock single firing speakers and they do both have SD cards so you can span that for files, movies, videos, music, and pictures and stuff like that, right? So I really like both of these guys. So let's start off with the overall displays on both of these because there's going to be a big difference between the overall display quality so i just want to go over that because we're going to get a 6.4 amoled panel on the a32 and on the samsung galaxy a02s we're actually getting a 6.5 tft lcd display which is hd plus whereas the, this guy is like full hd plus so as far as the security, we actually have just the uh, facial recognition on the A02s, and you got to be in really good light to get that unlocked. There you go. So we got that unlocked with the face ID on there. It works pretty much every single time. I really like the A02s's performance. So really nice when it comes to the face unlock. On the A32, you do get the uh, facial unlock as well. At first it's gonna say it doesn't recognize, but then it starts to recognize your face. So you get that face unlock. It worked the first time and then worked the second time. And then you actually get the in-display fingerprint sensor right here. So that's really cool with both of these things, okay? So when it comes to the overall panels, there's gonna be a, a little bit of a difference. And like I said before, so if you go to something like YouTube right here, one, two, three. 
Let's see which one opens quicker. It was almost the same time, but it looked like the 832 was just a little bit quicker. Let's go to like a um, 8K macro video because I want to compare the displays and kind of show you guys the difference. But if you're still here, just comment down below. Let me know you're still here. You're still kicking it with me, rocking with me to the end of the video and leave hashtags down below with a timestamp next to it saying I'm still here. So I know you're still with me. So let's just jump back into the overall displays and you can see right here we have, um, let's put these all the way up on full brightness so that we could crank these guys up and I could show you guys the full um, brightness on these things, okay? I'm getting messages right now from somebody. Somebody went live. Okay, so here we go. So you can see right here the difference is actually noticeable. Like uh, this thing is way more colorful, the A32, but they, when you compare it to the A02S, so you're gonna notice a substantial difference when it comes to the overall um, clarity. It's, it's a lot brighter with the AMOLED display more colorful more beautiful to the eye and stuff like that so i just really really enjoy looking at this thing okay all right so the next thing i want to do is compare the audio quality so we're going to start off with the samsung galaxy a32 let's just hit a song and press play and i have the microphone right in front of me Sounds lit. All right, let's try the uh, Samsung Galaxy A02s. Let's do the A32 one more time. And then the A02s one more time. All right, so it's actually pretty close, but I think it goes to the A32 because it just you could feel it vibrating in your hand a little bit more. But now I want to do like a gaming test on both of these guys. So I'm going to compare the gaming performance and then we'll jump into the battery life and um, pretty much wrap up the video. And I'll go over the pros and the disadvantages and the advantages for both devices, okay? Yeah, so we got a 90 hertz display on this thing, the Samsung Galaxy A32. And if I go to graphics right here, you can see it's at ultra frame rate, which is really cool. So it's going to be really nice for PUBG and games like that. And you're going to notice a really smooth frame rate on here. It's also got um, 411 pixels per inch. Um, it's got, you know, like I said, a um, 1080 display with the 2400. And when you compare it to, it's still going to have the 20 by 9 aspect ratio. And um, it feels really solid. Speakers sound pretty good on here as well. A, a beautiful display. I can't mention that enough. Um, the Helio G80 is actually on here with the four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes for the internal storage. And uh, I just got first blood right there. So it's, it's actually really solid when it comes to the overall gaming on here. We're going to jump into the graphics on here. This is the A02S. Let's see, test out the graphics. And it got, has high and smooth. Snapdragon 450, um, 270 pixels per inch. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 720 by 1600. Um, this is actually a good phone when it comes to gaming because it has 4 gigabytes of RAM with the 64 paired along with it. So it's gonna be running really, really fast. It's actually very impressive. I'm really impressed with this thing. And we're gonna jump into the features right after this for both phones. So you guys can see the difference between both of these things. 
Um, so it's not as quick as the A32. I just want to mention that it's got the 14 nanometer versus the other guy. It's a little little bit better when it comes to the nanometer. It's got the um, you know what I'm saying the the A32 has the 12 nanometer. This one has the 14 nanometer. So it's not not a huge difference, but you will notice this the frame rates are a little bit quicker. I couldn't even see him. He was in a perfect position or whatever. Let's try to get first blood. But this actually feels really smooth. It definitely has really good performance on here. All right, so that's pretty much the 802S. Really good when it comes to the gaming graphics on there as well. Now I just kind of want to jump into the overall features of both devices. Now obviously we get a fingerprint sensor on the 832 which makes it a little bit more convenient. Dropping down on the notification bar, you will notice right here that we have similar features. Uh, you will notice some a big difference when it comes to some of the features like link to windows is on this guy, but we don't have that on the, on the um, A802S. We also do have Smart View on the A0, A832. We have QR Scanner, which isn't on the A32 here as well. We also do have NFC, Music Share, Secure Folder, always on display. Uh, just this, a, a few features that are not available on the A02S, but I just wanna throw it out there that the A02S is really good when it comes to the overall performance, so you will still enjoy this device. Uh, ultra data savings mode is on there on both of these guys and um, kids mode is on both of these guys as well so that's just some of the features they both do have Dolby Atmos I just got a notification with the flash on the back you can activate that with both of these devices so I'm pretty impressed with overall features on both of these things now um, one of the other things differences is that the A02S doesn't have the gaming mode, which is available if you go into advanced features. You do get labs, which is really useful because it will give you multi-window and stuff like that. So let me go into the A32 real quick and show you guys advanced features. And so um, you, will, you will get labs on there as well. But you don't get the gaming launcher. You can see right here the gaming launcher is on the A32, but not on the A02S but pretty much some of the similar features. And then they, they both do offer RAM Plus, which is something that's really cool. I do like the fact that they have that, because if you go into, wait, I went to the wrong one, right here, click that, and then click Memory on both, and you're gonna see that it has this RAM Plus option on the bottom, and it'll optimize all your apps and stuff, so it makes it really cool to play around with. So I really enjoy that part about it. Um, let's just jump into the cameras real quick. I'll take a picture on my face real quick so you can see how the portraits look. And then I'll take a picture of what's in front of me and then we'll wrap up the video. So this is just a quick portrait. I'm gonna just take that real quick, snap and shoot. Wow, it looks much better on the A32. Let me just post that up right now. One, two, three. And then let me turn these cameras around and take a quick portrait of what I see in front of me and it still looks a little bit better on the A32, a little bit more clear and stuff. So I'm gonna take one, two, three. But some of the advantages of the A32 are the cameras and some of the features as well. But you're pretty much, let me just show you guys real quick that we will be getting um, Android 12 on both of these things. So let me go into software and um, about phone and go into software info and right here you can see that they're both running the one ui version but the a02s has the core version and um you know i'm saying we we are on april for the a32 but i saw that there was an update so i'm going to do a newer video to update this device right here but i really enjoy both of these devices but the a32 has the advantage of the camera the disadvantage with the a02s is it doesn't have a fingerprint sensor but both of these guys you're going to be really happy with, especially with the battery life on the A02S because it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and a lower resolution display. Uh, so it'll save more battery, whereas this you get the high res display on the A32, which is going to take up more battery. And it has a 90 hertz refresh rate, so it's going to be really cool 
to use. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you made it to the end of the video, just type down below, still here. And I, I wanna remind you to hit the like button so we could beat the YouTube algorithm. And I truly appreciate you for kicking it with me throughout the end of the video. But I'm gonna get right back with you. I'm gonna show up in the comment section. I'm gonna answer all your questions, but make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, depending where you are. Have a great night. Later, crew. Peace.